Hey there, welcome, I'm Lee Kellogg, and thank you for joining me today on our outing into Pine Nursery Park in Bend, Oregon. This is a city park that has a lot of um, native habitat, as you can see there. It was a um, nursery for ponderosa pines by the forest, that the Forest Service owned for many years and gave up. Uh, actually, I think they sold it to the city for a city park because there's still a chunk Forest Service is still neighbors to this park. But found here is a lot of native habitat in a city environment, which is very cool. So today we're going to look at sand lilies, which are a very low growing wildflower that grows in sandy environments. We are going to look at antelope bush and wax currant. So let's go explore those three plants and look at my nature journaling pages. So what we're looking at mostly here is antelope bush. And this is a native to the central Oregon area. Um, I'm in my neighborhood park where we have a lot of native habitat still intact or na oh, it's habitat, but definitely some of the um, plants and trees and stuff are here and I'm going to go down low. I'm on a paved, this is a paved path and this bush in front of me is just starting. It's full of buds. Uh, they are coming out here, nice little yellow guys. But if we get down here by the pavement, there's actually some in bloom right down here. So this is an antelope bush and I'll get my hand out of the way so it focuses on the flower and not my hand. And that is what we're gonna draw. Our next shrub, because that's what's in bloom at the moment, I do have one flower, I'm going to go see if it's still in bloom, but our next shrub is wax currant. And this guy, you can see, he's growing on a pile of rubble. This park is called Pine Nursery. It used to be a nursery for the Forest Service where they grew pine trees. So there are places, like even what we're looking at right here, where the ponderosa pines are still growing in a straight line. But wax currant is a very cool looking little bush. And I suspect the hummingbirds come to this. Uh, we do have the hummers are here. We have calliopes and annas at the moment in the area. And I think maybe a few rufus already. But you can see we've got a couple of little, they're, they're, the flowers are in groups. And um, I can't tell you about the berries because I have no memory of looking at them last fall. And I will look at them this fall and add them to my page. So let's go do the sketch. Right in this little spot, we've got a grouping of sand lilies. And sand lilies are native flowers to central Oregon. And they bloom in early spring. And there we are, they're low. They're probably only a few inches off the ground. And you can see they're actually really pretty flowers. Just nice, uh, looks like six petals with the the stamens and sepals rising above it and the leaves, everything low to the ground because there's my hand for um, scale. So they're not very big in many respects. And there's quite a clumping in here of the, um, the flowers. There's, there's the groupings, we just saw one, there's another, and there's a few scattered here and there, which means that these guys have survived all the intensive agriculture that's gone on in this area and the moving of stones out of to make field space and whatnot. So so we're here in, this, in my workroom and here's my finished pages and it's sort of my nature journaling style tends to be fairly simplistic most of the time sort of depending on what I've got going on here and let's take a look at these pages. Here's the antelope brush and um, get that sorted out for you. So I did an overview of the bush and a little bit of the leaves and detail on the flowers. And yes, I could draw more if I wanted to, but remember, this is, we're talking about journaling. And journaling to me is very personal. So this is sort of my recollection, what I wanted to remember about this um, bush. And I've got, on the next page here, I've got the wax current, which is right here. 
And so an overview of the bush with the rocks and then the stem with the, the flowers on it. And then the sand lily. And the sand lily, I actually gave it background so you could see that it was growing on the sand, but also to make the white blossom sort of stand out so that it, um, it stands out a bit. You can see here where I didn't put a background in that the blossoms don't stand out quite all that well, but I do make notes as to say, you know, the blossoms are white, they're bell-like tubular with, they had a black stamen actually, which was sort of interesting. And the leaves are sort of thick as is typical with um, a current. And sometimes I, I write other notes when I'm out in the field, like this one I wrote leaves mid green, grayish. And both of these, um, both the antelope bush and the, the uh, wax currant have fairly thick leaves because we're in a dry environment and that way they hold on to their moisture. So thank you so much for watching this video. I greatly appreciate you spending a few minutes with me as we explored a little bit of Pine Nursery Park in Bend, Oregon. So if you want more, they're in the YouTube. They're all, you can find them on YouTube. You can find them on my website, leekellogg.com. And while you're there, sign up for my newsletter. I send out a monthly creative, call it creativity monthly newsletter to keep you inspired, show you new techniques and ideas and things that I'm thinking of. And sometimes some health tips because I think being healthy lends itself to maximum creative output. So I hope you enjoyed this. Do subscribe to this YouTube channel and we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye for now.